Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good afternoon. Today I'm gonna be reviewing a new product. A little while back, a company called Greenworks contacted me and asked me if I'd like to try out their new pressure washer. I said, sure, send it to me. I believe this is an electric one. This came just the other day and I haven't had time to do any uh, review videos until the weekend, which is when I save my uh, time to do product reviews. Uh, I've had a lot of product reviews lately. Uh, I'm known as a KOL, a known opinion leader, and very um, flattered by that label. And uh, so I'm on this list where all these different companies ask me to um, review their products and unboxing them right in front of you. So we're doing that right now, unboxing it. <laughs> Instructions. Get out of here, we don't need any instructions. I'll figure it out myself, I'm a small engine guy. I'm an outdoor equipment expert. So uh, here's the wand, or some people call it um, pressure washer gun, because it does look like a gun. Uh, like I said, it's uh, made by Powerworks. I think I said Greenworks before. <laughs> Powerworks. Feels good. And here it is. Here's the hose, along with uh, the other part of the wand that attaches to the gun. And here we go. And that's it. That's all that's in the uh, box. Here's a spray bottle where you can put um, soap solution in it so that you can uh, wash your car. <laughs> I might try that because my car is filthy. Filthy! I've had about three of these in my entire life. Uh, when I first bought this house 20 years ago, I bought an electric power washer just like this. Uh, they usually range between $99 and $120. You buy them online, Amazon, eBay, whatever. Um, and I'll be honest, the electric ones I've only used once or twice a year before the following year it wouldn't start or it broke. One of the reasons why is because there's a little bit of maintenance that needs to be done with this. After you use it and you're ready to store it away for the next season, you have to make sure that all the water is out of the hose and out of the machine because the water will rust the innards of the motor and uh, it won't work anymore the next year. So I never did that. I never knew you had to do that. So I had the hose connected on here the entire time, you know? After two or three of these things, uh, I went and bought a um, gas one. Um, and the gas ones are much more reliable, but you always have to make sure that once you start the engine, you have to have water connected to it. If you don't, the motor will burn out. So there's a, there's a few precautions you have to take before you run this thing. So just an overview of what we're looking at here, the front part, it has a little bit of, it has a little cover that covers up the uh, input here. This is the electric wire cable that you connect to the power outlet of your house or in your garage. It has a circuit breaker here in case you have a short or something like that, it pops. You just press this button to reset again, right? On the side here, you have the um, 25 degree nozzle and the 40 degree nozzle. Take these nozzles out depending on which one you want to use. The 40 degree nozzle spreads out more, almost like a spray, whereas the 25 degree one is a little bit more powerful to get the stuff off. In the back here, you have a place where you can coil your, your wire, right? And it has these stoppers, which means that you can actually place it down like that, which is kind of cool. This is the obviously the on and off switch. Usually the dash means on, so put it to off for now. Here's the input to the water. The reason why you know it's the water is because it has a mesh filter here to make sure that no foreign debris gets into the uh, motor. So let's connect this gun to the wand and it should be very easy to do. Okay. See how it mates like that? 
stick it in, turn it. That's it. Now we're going to use we're going to use the 25 degree one. And this pops in just like that. Or push this down or lift it out. <laughs> oh, okay. See? Pull it down. Stick it in, let go. Now it's in there. So we got the spray nozzle. I'm going to move this cap over here and um, we'll hook up the hose. I don't think it matters which direction you put the hose in. Push inwards while you turn so that you can grip the threads. Let me uncoil this uh, hose and connect the other side. To this part right here. Okay. So the first bad thing that I've noticed is that this hose to the gun is very poor quality. Um, just pulling it a little bit, it kinked right there, see? So if you pull it too hard and uncoil it wrong, it kinks and it stays there, see? So this may, this may be a bad thing for it to work. And it's not just there, it kinked in another area too. Just from moving it around, it has to be more rubbery, you know what I mean? More rubber coated. So I may have trouble with this right here because it kinked, it bent. So anyway, uh, I've got it plugged in and now I've got my garden hose from my backyard. I'm gonna take the uh, gun out and I'm gonna plug it onto there. So we're gonna attach the uh, water hose to this I'm going to go turn on the water, and then we're going to try using this. Um, I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. So, my house is relatively clean, at least the siding is, right? But if you come close and look underneath, underneath is kind of dirty, underneath. The main part of above my windows, where the triangle is, kind of dirty under there. So that's what I'm going to try to blow today. I might try to use the uh, soap bottle and wash my car. It is dirty. From uh, bird poo. So it could use a wash. Actually, it definitely needs a wash. Okay, I got my water turned on. Let's give this a try. It is plugged in. Let's turn it on. Let's try the side over here where you can see that there's a lot of mildew and algae built up. I will say it's um, very quiet uh, when I was talking about the hose. See what I'm talking about here? See how it's coiled like that? If you just pull it, right, it'll bend. Let's see if we get all this bird poo out.
will say it is pretty quiet um, and it's only on when you engage it. So this is rated at 1700 PSI, okay? Uh, usually the gas ones are over 2500. So this would be perfect to wash your car with it because if you have something that's too strong, you could actually take the paint off your car and damage the finish of your vehicle. try to get that part now look it's not very long so if I have to get something really high you'd have to change your nozzle to something that's um, shooting out straight you know just doing this is not gonna work it's not gonna have enough power to get to the top part there. While I could get it clean, the first three layers there, it's only because I'm only this tall. So unless I got a ladder to, to get up there, it won't shoot that far. See? It's not gonna make an impact on getting the dirt off. So let's try to change the uh, head. Let's try it without the any head. This is without any head. <laughs> So that's not gonna work. Let's try the other head. So I've got the white head. This is the 40 degree one. Let's see if this does any better. So this is spread out to be more misty. So it's not very strong at all to get the power to get the uh, mildew out. So that's not gonna work either. We're not gonna be able to do that because of the heads. Now I have gas power washers and I have this red head. The red head looks like it's just a dot. So I'm gonna see if this fits and it does. Let's see if it's a more straighter stream. It So the red one is much better, but it still can't get up there, you know? And I don't think really any power washer could, unless you use a ladder. So we can't finish that because it's not strong enough to reach the very high points where it's dirty. It would be good if you wanted to clean your outdoor lounge furniture, your patio furniture, your tables, wash a car, things that are within your reach. But if it's high up on a building or something like that, you either need a ladder or a stronger power to get it down. So uh, let's try the car now. I'm going to try the soap bottle um, attachment. Got a little bit of car wash here. And I'm not going to wash it tremendously. I'm just going to spray it down. So I'm not going to pour too much in here. Maybe just a quarter. Just to get a fall. We have this uh, soap bottle on. Just going to move this one and attach this one. Very easy to do. I've actually never tried this before. So this I took off the uh, soap bottle, put the 40 degree one on, the white one. Uh, I was expecting a lot of foam to come out, but I think my soap just sucks.
So I've disconnected the water from here to ensure that I get all the water out of the power pump inside. It's still connected to power. I'm just gonna blow this until the water stops. There you go. The water is cleared from my uh, pump inside. I'm gonna disconnect the uh, power hose, the wand. Let the water drain out completely, and you see there's hardly any in there. So then this is ready to use for next time. <laughs> a long time ago, I just kept it plugged in there with all the water in there. So things rust up and they stop moving, you know? So that's what you gotta do. Uh, it's a good little unit. This is my PowerWorks, 1700 PSI, 1 1.2 gallons per minute pressure washer. It's not strong enough to get the super high areas of your home, but if you're just doing patio furniture, your deck, your driveway, washing your car, things within your reach, as long as you can get the wand within six inches from the surface. It's a cute little, you know, power washer. Uh, my recommendation is that you give us more attachments for the nozzle tip, including one that goes straight. That would be useful. And also the hose could be better quality so it doesn't kink so easily, you know? See what I'm saying? So uh, they have better hoses out there that are strong rubber so that you, it doesn't bend easy, you know? So that would be my only recommendation. Um, this sells for $115.99. There are American brand name ones that are probably around the same price. So you may want to work on that um, price range too. It does uh, ship for free on Amazon.com. I'll leave a link in the description as well as a link to the PowerWorks store where you can find out what else they offer to the general public. Thanks a lot for sending me this item. It is a cool little item for things around your house that you can clean. But if it comes to cleaning your entire house, top included, I don't think I would use this as 1700 PSI is really not powerful enough to do your house, but I think it's just fine for just outdoor furniture, driveways, and washing your car. Hope you enjoyed this review and unboxing of this pressure washer. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. I'm Henry from Mowers and Blowers. As a YouTuber that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture, and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.